So I was recently reminded of an Excel hack when a friend in real estate asked for some help with a formula. He provided this data, which just lists information related to apartments, and asked if I could come up with a formula that fits in one cell and counts the number of units available or unrented in the last X days. X needing to be a variable you could toggle, so you could put in 30, 60, or 90 days. And the problem he was having was counted cells that had unrented when there was other text in the cell. Fortunately, the solution is pretty simple. To count the number of unrented apartments, we'll use the count if formula. So input equals count if. And the way count if works is you select a range and provide criteria. And the formula will return the number of cells that match your criteria. So let's first pick our range. And now we'll input our criteria. The objective is to search for the text unrented, but ignore the text that precedes it. To do that, input a quotation mark, an asterisk, and the text you're looking for. Close quote, close paren, and the formula returns the number of unrented apartments. And if you were to have particularly obnoxious data that had text that followed the word you were looking for, and here let's just use, I don't know, dog. Oops, can't see dog. There we go. Then you could go back to your formula and input another asterisk. And the formula would again return the right number of apartments. I don't want to waste too much of your time with the count if formula, so I've just included a couple other formulas below. This one counts the number of moveouts in the last 30 days. You'll see that range is selecting from the column last moveout and that it's looking for values greater than or equal to the date above, which is calculated by subtracting 30 days from the current date. And note that you have to put greater than or equals to in quotations, and then use an ampersand before the cell reference. The last formula combines the two above it. By using count ifs instead of count if, you can select multiple ranges and apply different criteria. And in that way, the formula is properly identifying all unrented apartments in the last 30 days. And that's it. Hasta luego.